Tribal leaders of both Connecticut's Native American casinos made their big pitch to state lawmakers today. Yeah, they were joined by casino workers urging lawmakers to help save their jobs by giving the green light to an expansion of casino gambling here in Connecticut. Our chief political correspondent Mark Davis live now with details of today's latest big gamble. Mark? Hi, Darren and Ann. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Public opinion appears to be against the tribes right now, but the tribal leaders say when the public hears what's really at stake, the odds appear much better. Casino workers and their supporters rallied on the steps of the Capitol and filled a large legislative hearing room to tell lawmakers they believe their jobs are on the line. I came here today because good jobs are important, and I feel very fortunate that I work for the Mohegan tribe. Being a young mother, uh, expecting my third child, obviously jobs in Connecticut are very important to me and to uh, the economy, keeping my family able to live in the state. The erosion of gamblers at both of the state's Native American-owned casinos to facilities in surrounding states is predicted to only get worse. One of the tribal leaders said today that it will result in the loss of thousands of jobs in the years ahead without this expansion. We want to remain competitive, that's the bottom line. And that means growing and diversifying our properties to include this potential new development. These jobs are actually good jobs. They have benefits, they have retirement benefits, and, uh, and people have provided for their families for years on these jobs. It actually was an historic site, the two tribal leaders sitting side by side, making their case for jointly owned casino operations in northern, western, and southern Connecticut. In ancient times, the Mohegans and the Mashantuckets were mortal enemies. They played down the recent Quinnipiac University poll that showed a majority of Connecticut citizens opposed to more gambling, noting that when people learn about the job loss angle, they are more sympathetic to the idea. And there's another group that came to the Capitol today that's very enthusiastic about this expansion. But Governor Malloy, uh, not so much. We'll have that part of the story coming up at 6. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.